Oh, well that is just aesthetic, isn't it? We are actually all heading out for some lunch and a little bit of shopping for my sister-in-law's birthday. It's her 11th birthday today and we are going to just pop into a couple of bookstores and stuff like that. So I thought I would obviously include that in today's bookish video. Don't know if we're going to get anything because as we stand at the moment, I am still on a book buying ban. But I only have like a couple of weeks left of the ban. I feel like I'm just going to browse, maybe add some to my Amazon wish list and just see what happens. But at the moment I'm currently reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I am doing a little reread of all of the Harry Potter books. I'm now on the third one, which is exciting because this is actually my favourite one. That was sort of irrelevant, but I just thought I'd tell you what I was reading. I'm going to go book shopping. literally in the middle of the works thought i lost my phone wrapped my bag was frantically running like rummaging through it but i found it so it could that was i was like this i'm all right thank you thank you there we go thanks very much Well, that is just aesthetic, isn't it? Every single time I see this cover, I'm like interested in it. I just never pick it up and I couldn't even tell you what it's about. But every time I see it, it like catches my eye. No idea why. Hayley's like all-time favorite books. I saw it and I've never seen it in person before. <laughs> Hello. Right, love you, bye. Hello. Hello. Butt dial me. As I was saying, this is one of Hayley Pham's like recent five star, six star reads and I've never seen it in person before. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God. But yeah, the Ministry of Time, I'm not gonna get it, but I thought it was really cool to see.
Lisa Jewel is in the Lisa Jewel we all know because I've never seen this book before in my life. I'm currently in the TK Maxx book section. Not that I normally get anything from here at all, but it is actually quite good. There's some book talky kind of books, there's some like classics. They have quite a good selection actually, and it's getting bigger, so I'm quite impressed today. They have like the most beautiful editions of classic books ever, and I want to collect them all. £3.29. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? Beach lover. <laughs> he's book lovers. <laughs> Beach lover, everyone. <laughs> Bless him, he's so cute. I've hidden in the back of the shop to speak to you because it's so loud and busy over there. I have picked up Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter because I actually don't own this book by her and the three Lynn Painter books that I've read, I think it's two or three, I've really, really enjoyed. So I'm definitely in the mood to collect more of her books and read them. And I don't know if you noticed, but Riley actually said, oh my God, Beach Lover. I think it was Beach Lover, he said. It was Book Lovers by Emily Henry. <laughs> He's so cute when he tries to get involved. But I have this. So I'm back from book shopping now, it's been a couple of days. The night that we got back, our friend Ethan came round and I started feeling a little bit unwell and I've been like on and off ill since. So I feel like I just needed a couple of days to sort of like figure out my life and what I was doing. But I managed to only get two books and then what we're gonna do now is order some books to come for an unboxing. So like a little online book shopping with me section of the video, which is great. So these are the two books that I've managed to pick up. In the works, I was scouring for a while, thinking about what videos I wanted to do for October, my most anticipated reads, if there was anything that I hadn't got yet. And the only one that really caught my eye was Happy Medium. Who's this by? By Sarah Adler. I feel like it's quite Halloween-y, it's witchy, it's cute, but in like a non-spooky way, if that makes sense. It's got like the cutest little ghost on the front cover. And I feel like that is what I was looking out for, like more spooky books. But then I didn't want to buy too many because I don't want to like overwhelm myself and then have too many to read, if that makes sense. But I also managed to pick up this edition of Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. I've started my Lynn Painter journey this year. I read Better Than The Movies and The Do-Over. I don't think there was, oh, and Happily Never After, which was really good. I loved those three. I just want to collect all of her books. So I managed to actually get this one from TK Maxx and that was £3.29 from TK Maxx, which is amazing. But that's everything that I got when I was out. I was hoping to get like a little bit more, but I'm still trying to like minimize my TBR as much as possible. And so far I've read more than I've bought in the last couple of months, which is amazing. That's great, right? That is the whole point of these challenges and like my little series that I've been doing. But I am gonna order some because I'm in need of another big book unboxing. I need to be unboxing books. So I'm gonna go on Amazon now and have a little mooch go on my wish list and just see because I do have an Amazon wish list. Obviously you guys are never entitled to buy me books but I have been sent a couple that I'm waiting to open and it is always linked below like if you want to. That's only if you want to, that's not me asking but yeah it is always there and I do have one but I tend to just buy books off of it myself. I'm like if I'm in a treat myself mood I'll just do it but I'm gonna go on Amazon just have a little look. So I've literally just ordered a couple of books off of my wish list and I have had some deliveries as I said today of books that have come as well. I've had some book mail from publishers and stuff but I didn't obviously want to open them in this video because I am going to save them for a big book unboxing. So I do feel like this bookstore vlog has been not necessarily pointless but I do feel bad that I have like not much more to show you. However the unboxing that's going to come is going to be so good. The unboxing will be an unboxing so I'm very excited for that. 
these leaves are tickling my head so definitely look forward to that but that is everything for today's video i've done a bit of online shopping we had a mooch in the shops riley managed to get a load of stuff for his shopping trip because he came with me as well it was a great successful trip riley's sister also had a great birthday if you were interested and yeah that was it but if you did enjoy this video definitely give it a thumbs up and i will hopefully see you in my next one let me know the most recent book that you bought or any books that you'd like to see me add to my amazon wish list because i need some more books on there i feel like i just add all of the like popular ones and there's definitely some hidden gems that i don't even know about yet that would be great for being on there and on my radar which is great but if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up i've already said all that i'm not gonna say it again love you goodbye